This is Mr. Beck Does Your Homework, AP Physics, Homework 4.3, Questions 8, 9, and 10. A uniform plank of length 2.32 meters and mass 25.7 kilograms is supported by three ropes as indicated. Here's T1, here's T2, here's T3. Find the tension T1 when a 607 newton person is 0.471 meters from the left end. The acceleration of gravity is answering units of newtons. Well, the forces on this are this tension, this tension, this tension, but I also have the force of gravity due to this person standing there, and I also have the force of gravity from the board pointing straight down. Now I have one unknown, I have two unknowns, I have three unknowns, and these two I do know, so these are easy um, because I've got the newtons of the person and I've got the mass of the plank, mass of 25.7 kilograms, so I can easily get these two forces of gravity. But I have two unknowns here, so the only way to solve with two unknowns is to go to torque and pick that point right here as my pivot point. So now, if that's my pivot point, then both of these forces are located right at the pivot point, so my radius for each one of those is zero, so I will not care about those two because they're not torquing around that pivot point. What I have is this one and this one pulling down clockwise, and this one pulling up, which would be counterclockwise. So if I think about that pivot point, these two on the bottom are trying to make it go clockwise, and this one at the end is trying to make it go counterclockwise. So I can say, just like I always do, my counterclockwise torques is going to equal my clockwise torques. Counterclockwise, I've got just this one, this force alone. So I'm going to have my RF sine theta for that one equals my counterclockwise, which are, sorry, my clockwise, which are these two. So that's going to be one RF sine theta and another RF sine theta. So this one is going to be my T1. So what my R there is going to be the length of the board because that's my pivot. I am 2.32 meters away from my pivot. So that's going to be 2.32 times my force, which I'm looking for, which they call T1, so I'll call T1, times the sine of theta. Now what's my theta? Theta is the angle between the, the force and the radius. So I could do this as the radius and use this big angle, or I could use this 57 degree angle. Either one will work, because I'll get the same answer if I find the sine at 57 or 180 minus 57. So I'm just going to use 57. That works just fine. That's going to equal, let's see, the R of the person is going to be 0 0.471 meters. The force on the person is 607 newtons. And the theta for the person is going to be 90 degrees, so I'm not going to worry about that one. And this one's also going to be 90 degrees. Um, now I need the, the plank itself. 2.32 meter plank, well, the center of gravity of the plank is going to be in the center of the plank. So half of 2.32 is going to be my R, so it's 2.32 over 2. And my force is going to be 25.7 kilograms with 9.8 meters per second squared acceleration. So that's going to be 25.7 and 9.81. So with all of this, I know it, I don't know it, I 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 know it. You can do your math here and solve for T1. That will give you the tension in this cable. Now it asks for question 9, find the tension T2. Well, T2 is straight up this way. Um, what I could do now is now I could do an equilibrium problem with my up equals my down. Up on this, I have T2. Up, I also have the vertical component of T1. So T1 will be split into, a, I'll just call this Ty. And I'll call this one Tx. Well, I know T1, but if I want Ty, it's going to be T1 times the sine of theta. Will give me the vertical component of that. So that's up, that's up, and down and down are my two weights. So that's going to equal my uh, uh, 400, where's the person, 607 newtons plus the force of gravity on the plank, so that's going to be my 25.7 times 9.81. So now T1 comes from here, sine theta, theta is 57 degrees, so this is T2 plus T1 was my answer to the previous one, times the sine of 57, 
equals all of this. So now I'm just solving for T2. So take this, subtract, and I've got T2. Now I want T3. Well, T3 I can solve with a left equals right. On this whole board, all I've got left is T3. All I've got right is this tension in the X. So what I'm going to get is that T3 is going to be my T1 times the cosine of 57. And T1, of course, is this number up here. So that'll give me T3 because it's the horizontal component of this balances the T3 that's pulling this way.